Talking about Christina O'Donnell, she's got enthusiasm on her side, a tidal wave of money, but also some questions dog, uh, dogging her. Back with our panel, David Gergen, Roland Martin, and Ari Fleischer. Uh, Roland, you were about to say something? Yeah, I mean, look, Ari, I, I get this whole deal in terms of want to criticize the mainstream media, but please don't sit here and talk about piling on. Then you bring up Charlie Rangel. Wait a minute. The Republicans brought up these very same charges against her. The voters in the primary elected her. The, the allegations were placed against Char Congressman Charlie Rangel. The voters there elected him. So what's the difference there? You should, as a, as a person who stood and represented the president, you should be saying to her, answer the questions. This isn't piling on. And to suggest that, well, we have overspending in Washington and people are tired of that. Well, if you are sitting here spending campaign money for personal reasons, how are you then going to handle the people's money if you're put in the U.S. Senate? It's about right. trust. Roland, rewind the tape. The very first thing I said is these are issues that she is going to have to answer to. That is yeah, part of the campaign. Yeah, but start justifying it by blaming that. the media. But, here, but here's the point. Her opponent is getting no scrutiny. Now, he wrote a paper when he was in college. I saw this today on the Internet, and it's true, that he described himself as a Marxist with a beard. Now, I would much rather have a lot of folks on what does it mean to be a Marxist? What is his ideology? Where are the issues in this? Yes, she deserves scrutiny, and she has to give answers. But right now... All the arrows and all the darts are pointed at her, and her opponent has been given a total free pass. Okay, well, then we should then cover both. But, but Ari, is, 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 I mean, is something one wrote in college, um, I mean, if we're all held to that standard, I, I can't even remember what I wrote in college, but I mean, I certainly didn't describe myself as a Marxist or anything, and I certainly would never have done that, but, you know, I think I probably wrote some pretty stupid papers. Uh, Anderson, and if I, if I describe myself as being an extremist in college, I think people want to say, well, are you still, or are, when did that change, what was Fair your enough. path, what did you go through? Yeah. My point is, it's, he's scrutiny free right now, because the only person getting I, I, scrutiny I, I, is Christine O'Donnell. She deserves scrutiny, I, I, but she's I, not the only one. David, and that's my point. I, yeah. I, I think Ari has a legitimate point about what you write in college. I mean, the, the Republican candidate in Virginia uh, for governor went through a scalding campaign because of what he'd written as a student. And all of that was sort of revived during that. So he has a fair point that this ought to be, uh, both candidates ought to be revived. But, but Ari, my point here is on Christine O'Donnell, uh, I think the reason why she's now, she's burst into the spotlight as the woman who's probably cost the Republicans their chance at winning the Senate. She is going to certainly contribute to a fear among Republicans about crossing lines and working with Democrats, as Mike Kessel did. Mm -hmm. You know, voting for cap and trade, uh, as he did, and have that bring him down, sends a very big signal that it's going to be extremely hard to govern and form bipartisan majorities, no matter who wins in these elections. And finally, this election with her you know, is probably going to draw, uh, drive or draw a lot of the Republican candidates for president, you know this, draw them to the right. We're going to, we're, you know, Mitt Romney was described in the Financial Times today as the guy who really lost Tuesday night because he's too moderate. Mitt Romney, give me a break, is too moderate. There's no question Mike Castle would have won that seat. And so they're, they're, they can't argue that point. Now, I don't know that Christine O'Donnell has a chance to win. But I also know that when Rand Paul defeated the establishment candidate in Kentucky, people said Rand Paul can't win. And of course, Rand Paul is winning. So you have to let this thing settle in she Delaware. She also just made close to a million dollars. But it, uh, it, she has you know, now a lot of money in the coffers, and more is going to be pouring in. At, to Ari's point, the more you know, folks in the liberal media attack her, or the mainstream media, or you know, ask questions, the more her supporters seem to rally around her and raise money for her. Actually, these, the more the liberal these media These ideological her. struggles within parties also can be healthy. And I don't want it to go too far, and I do think Republicans have to be careful that we say to people in New England and the Central Atlantic states are not welcome, because there are areas we need moderates to win. But it is important to let the ideological struggle play itself out and to see which part of the party emerges. But then you also have to build coalitions. Parties have to do both. Republicans have to do both. Conservatives have to do both. And I would say, Anderson, also hopefully the conservative media will also pay attention and cover these stories as well. But I also I need to speak to this issue that David brought up, and that is the election hasn't taken place yet. And I think it is wrong for us to somehow assume this, that, look, this is written off, that she's going to lose. Look, all the same people who said Mike Castle, this awesome politician, elected statewide so many times, will blow her away. He lost. And so if you're a Democrat sitting out there and you somehow think this is going to be a cakewalk, she's going to be hitting the ground, hitting those doors. And so I just don't make that assumption. I would say you better get your folks out. Yeah. Or you know what? O'Donnell might very well be the U.S. senator. It seems to me every year or every few years we learn this lesson in TV land that pundits, and I know offense <laughs> to you guys, 
but don't get it right. I mean, I remember pundits predicting John Kerry on the eve of that election that he was going to be the president. Count the votes. Right. I mean, so it's up to the American right. people, and we're seeing that, you know, we're reminded of that every single time. And That's thank right. goodness for that. Uh, Roland Martin, Ari yeah. Fleischer, David Gergen, um, thanks very much.